Hi guys, welcome to the Food for Thought video. Um, I'm Gordon. Today I thought I'd come out. It's January 22nd. Um, you wouldn't think it by there's no snow, it's actually getting mild. Well, it's four degrees Celsius. Um, <laughs> this has been a crazy, crazy winter. Um, November we had a lot of snow. Uh, into December and then it kind of went away. We've had a lot of rain. Uh, for my garden that was bad because I've got a lot of clay in my garden so it's the, and it slopes downhill so it has eventually gone off but it, for a while there's a lot of, lot of, lot of rain in it. Um, anyway, a while, a while back I made these uh, cold, different cold frames. I made three different cold frames to see what the difference would be and uh, um, the ability to retain heat, um, the strength through the because of the, the, the heavy snow that we can get here. Um, I mean, we've had snow that's been up, up to my knees this year. Um, so the, the three different types I've got was a, a hooped house, um, like an A-frame, and a bit, basically a big slab that. That's, that's tilted to try to run the water off, but we'll show you what happens when that method is with heavy snow. So, anyway, let me just bring this forward a little bit, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by the, with the different methods. Right. Okay. So this is my f this is the first one. This is the, the sort of hooked. Um, it's just a sort of basic raised bed. Um, it, it's raised up only about six inches or something, but it's it's taken a while to get really good soil in here. Um, because of the amount of clay that I have in here, gradually it's digging in more and more compost and more and more soil and anyway, it's, it's, it, we've got there. Um, so, but the main thing I wanted to show you was that this style, basically it's just two plastic hoops um, and then it was just plastic taped onto it. Um, and then to get into it, I mean I just, just made this heavy bar that keeps the from flapping around. Um, now, due to the heavy rain, the, this this frame here, this piece of wood here, has actually snapped. Uh, it's still it's still connected, but it, it has snapped. So next year, if it, if, it, if it go this way, then I'd put a heavier stanchion in. But anyway, um, I had carrots out of here on um, Christmas Eve um, for our for our Christmas Christmas dinner. Um, I was I was amazed that I actually kept all the, the, the even though we got a lot of heavy um, snow, which was actually good um, because it created a, a, bl a blanket. So even if it did did get the temperatures down, the snow kept the frost right off it. So snow can actually be your friend when it comes to that that side of things. Um, so that's that's it's a it's a good method. Um, the only kind of downside to it, um, well, one, I didn't block off this end, these ends completely. I only did it part way up. Um, and also the, the height from here to here um, does let a lot of air in, in there. So if you are trying to just keep the, the soil from freezing over, the it, it didn't really do its, its, its thing. Um, the, it is the soil is um, frozen underneath there, but I can't expect anything else with with this time of year. Um, okay. We're having the, the rabbits. I only have three rabbits. Edward's got loads. He breeds them. But I'm only allowed to have pet rabbits, so they're actually in, in, inside. I've got two down in the basement. The two little ones, which are bigger now, which I'll do a video on that at some point. Then I've got my the, the big Californian. She's in the garage. Um, but I get a lot of pee and a lot of poop from them. So, but they so it's great. So I've just been constantly putting it on, raking it in, um, and when it gets to the stage that it does, um, the, the freeze does go away from it. I'll be able to dig it in before we get to the stage of um, putting in when you crop at the beginning. The way things are going, we'll be able to get the plants in here in March. Um, anyway, let's show you number two. So this is the, the second one. 
um, just like a, an A-frame. Um, so he just lift, he just there to lift it up from, it comes from both sides. Um, so you access to the, the full bed um, from, from both ends. Um, this is by far the best method that I've found. Um, the, the, the hooked house, um, the snow is just landed on it and then obviously fell off to the side. Um, and this is the same with the, 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 depending on what kind of pitch you put on it, um, it just falls off. Does it, depending on how much snow you get, you're still not really getting to it because there's a whole pile of snow sitting in front of it. Um, but because of the design of it, it just slides off in a problem. Um, and it's not really that much of a, a, a problem with the, the, the height and it keeps it nice, nice and uh, warm. Um, I, I don't even know if this is frozen. See? So, that's, that's still soft. I mean, I could plant in there straight away, uh, but what I'm doing is constantly putting in um, some the, the the rabbit poop in there because it's it's obviously it's already broken down. Um, I mean, there, there's my uh, mint or one of my mint plants from last year that I had up in, in there. Um, yeah, okay, it hasn't grown because of the temperatures, um, but it hasn't died off. Uh, and then I've actually got another mint plant in there that's grown into the soil, which I probably will put this one into beside it and grow that mint in there. Um, but once again, I was actually getting, I had uh, chervil in there, um, herb, um, and I've been getting that off all winter because um, it's, it's still being grown. Um, still a bit, still a little bit at the back, but in general, I've just churned the whole lot over because I was getting, I wasn't going through it all. Um, but by far, best method. Now the last method is the the, the big cheat, and I'll show you exactly what happens when in heavy snow with this method. Well, method number three. It doesn't. I mean, the. the Possibly, if my if I had designed it a bit better, um, put heavier heavy duty, um, but I didn't do anything different than this one over here. Um, so if I'd maybe made it a bit stronger, it, it would be okay. But the pure weight of the um, the snow, we've had freezing rain on top of snow and all that sort of stuff. It just collapsed. Um, so. For me, that's not a, hasn't been a good method. Um, possibly, if I put it in a, in a better angle, um, might might be the way to go. Strengthen it up. Um, but this is it is quite a heavy heavy door. Instead of just having the two half ones that you can fill up, this is a big head. Now it's burning my arm. But as you can as you can tell. Um, I've, still, I've got spinach in here, um, uh, basically I've got, I've got spinach and kale in there, um, which are still growing. That, once again, I, I found that the, the height difference between the ground and there and the, the top of the um, frame has made a big difference in the temperature that's in there that for, for, for freezing. Um, so even when it's cold outside, that it's not as cold in there, and it's and it, depending on how often you can come down and to turn it over, you might not get it freezing over at all. So if you if you're constantly digging in over the winter, and, and compost or and, and depending if you have rabbits etc., um, it's been a good way for me to just constantly dig in the the, the rabbit poop so that the soil will be really enriched with with, with the nutrients for, for next year. Um, but so that's my my three methods of, of doing it. My personal method is definitely the A-frame. Um, two one two reasons. One because of the design of it, it allows you to access um, from from both sides, um, and then it's obviously 
it's a stronger design um, for the, especially the, the, the heavy snow that we can get around here. So anyway, that's my, my three methods. I've got a lot of things to do today. Um, can't believe this weather yet again. Um, so it is muddy and whatnot, but it does give me a chance to, to go and dig up some stuff, put it in compost heap and, and dig in more, more compost. Um, or the, the poop and whatnot into the, the, the soil and be ready for when actually spring comes around um, and hopefully we'll get a early crops like with, like I did yes, last year I got two two crops off of every bed last year um, because it was an early spring again last year so fingers crossed we get an early spring and we get two crops this year anyway on that note happy garden Good luck for the year, your coming year for anybody that's doing any, any gardening um, and we'll, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, take care.